In today's video, we're talking about how far away alt season really is. When it comes down to it, rising wedge patterns form on the charts all the time. But when they form on the Bitcoin dominance chart, it signals that Bitcoin's market share has increased to a point where it might no longer be sustainable. Once this wedge breaks down is what we refer to as alt season. And really, when it comes down to it, investors might start moving their capital from Bitcoin into other cryptocurrencies, which just causes this broad rally across the altcoin market. This really introduces volatility. And really, there's no guarantee that all cryptocurrencies are going to pump. Some might see significant gains over others, but not will all not all of the crypto projects will benefit equally. That is for sure. Now, when it comes down to the rising wedge, falling wedge patterns, a gentleman named Charles Dow, who you might have heard of in the markets, uh, was able to identify that these patterns were oftentimes predictable. And myself, I am a huge pattern trader and i'm always posting charts and things like that over on my x account so hit me up at real six fig and when it comes down to it we can analyze what has happened historically with the markets for example when bitcoin dominance experienced rising wedges here was the rising wedge that formed on Bitcoin market cap dominance from January of 2018 up to September of 2019. We did have the coronavirus pandemic that really kind of threw a little monkey wrench into the markets right in here. However, the price of Bitcoin and really all these other coins just went off to the races. Now, over the course of about uh, about 18, or excuse me, 800 days, we saw the peak of the previous 2019 rising wedge hit. And when it comes down to it, that is when, uh, at the end of that 800 days, is when we saw Bitcoin top out for the second time that, during the 2021 cycle. Uh, the rest from there uh, was pretty much downhill because, as you can see, that was the point in 2021 of November where Bitcoin market cap dominance started rebuilding. And now we have seen Bitcoin market cap dominance really kind of enter in to a very similar pattern known as the rising wedge, which we can see very clearly here. Uh, but we are seeing the same pattern play out. Now, why do I think that alt season is a lot closer than it possibly actually is? Well, when we look at the Bitcoin market cap dominance, we can see that price has been nipping at this upper trend line for some time. And it's had great support all the way since November of 2022 until recently in May. But we have seen price action fall through support and we have seen price action get rejected by the support. So we have a turn in support and resistance here. This was being supported. Now Bitcoin market cap dominance is being rejected and we have now seen it get rejected possibly for a second time. The beautiful thing about this chart is that this is a long spanning pattern. So typically we'll see short term patterns, a couple days old, those can break fairly easy. But when you start to see these multi month, multi year patterns, that's when things really get juicy. So where do I think that Bitcoin will head to this cycle? Well, I don't know that we're going to get a 300% return based off of previous cycles. However, I am gunning for maybe this 161.8 golden ratio area. Currently, you can see via this Fibonacci channel that we are still kind of tangling with this 127 Fib extension. And we are on the weekly chart. And folks, I said this back in April 
you know, March of 2024 when Bitcoin ripped up to the $73,000 mark. I said, watch out for a flag or some sort of symmetrical triangle over to this 50 moving average on the weekly charts. I tried to beat this into people's head for a long time. I'm speculating. This is where Bitcoin and the price is going to get a bounce just like it did back in 2021 uh, when we saw new all-time highs came down for the bounce off the 50. I do think that there is this chance we will see either an $88,000 Bitcoin or $130,000 Bitcoin. I am really kind of gearing up for an $88,000 Bitcoin as the top. And I don't mean to sound bearish here, but here's my reasoning behind this. You can see that we have very clear Elliott wave theory to this upside. And when we start talking about market caps and things like that of Bitcoin to see basically a $130,000, $125,000 Bitcoin, I do believe that Bitcoin will get there. But in order to see that right now, we need to basically double the market cap. So where's $1.1, $1.2 trillion going to come from? Unless we start to see countries just pour in money to Bitcoin a trillion dollars is a lot of money to drive that price up to around that $125,000 mark. But to see this thing maybe get a trillion and a half to, to maybe two trillion, I could easily see that eighty-eight to $100,000 mark possibly reached. So on the safe side of things, I'm really aiming for that $88,000 level. I wouldn't be surprised too much if we hit that $100,000 mark, but I would be kind of surprised if we hit that $125,000 mark. I'd be super happy, but you might just want to ask a financial advisor for financial advice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys all in the next one.